Morning everybody, how are we today? Who have we got? Where are we? Okay, so, oh, lots. Uh, Sue, Sharon, Shelley, Megan, hello, Ella, Joyce, and Mandy, Cherry, Shirley, Joe, Jane, Jenna, Brenda, and Brian. Um, and Jane, Darren, Linda, Sandra. So I'm going to miss loads of you. I'm sorry about that. It's very busy this morning. Um, hello, Susan, and another Susan, Dawn, and uh, Shonda. That's a nice name. Sarah, hello. All's very well at short hours. Thank you very much. Leslie's got a coffee. Lovely. Morning, Julianne and Elaine and Jean. And lovely and sunny here in Bourne. It's glorious, isn't it, Jean? It's really freezing cold, but it's very, very nice. Has feeding chickens out of my hand this morning, which was lovely. Uh, morning uh, from Modesto. I've not heard of that before, Kathleen, in Northern Carolina, uh, California, sorry. Uh, everyone, sunny but cold in South Yorkshire. Hello, Joe. Um, 11 a.m. So, and, oh, that's under month and 4 p.m. Oh, thank you, Megan. Oh no, Sandra's recovering from COVID. At least you're recovering from COVID, Sandra. Huh. Now then, a few new things to show you. Oh, I, hi, hi, I am. I am. Hi, Raina. Um, she's going to watch later. She's at work. Bobbin's got used. Yeah, she's getting used to them. She's inquisitive. She just had a look in the nesting box, but she didn't get overexcited. So we're getting there. Getting another three soon. Uh, we're going to need an extension on the hutch. Uh, so snow and Birmingham. Yeah, we've got a little bit. Hello, Willow. Hello, Julie. Um, it's 10 p.m. in Victoria, Australia, 12 degrees Celsius. It's lovely to catch up live for a change. Nice to have you on board. Um, that's Marilyn. Right. Oh, right. I was going to say, but it's nice to have lovely things behind. I know, we've got some, got some new stuff. Gary's made some new pictures for me, which is a big fat tease because you might have seen the chrysanthemum panel before, but you haven't seen the cassia. And you won't do for another month. So, yes, big fat tease with that one. I'm doing a one-day special on Crate and Craft on the 14th and 15th of April, and that's going to be one of the, um, one of the panels there. Um, Vanessa's in North Carolina. Hello. Has Bob been trying to come? Oh, she's gone away. She loves it in the sunshine. I love the sunshine. Cheers us up, does it not? Right. Um, one thing to show you, and you need to be quick, because... Um, the round bamboo handled bag that we did on Crate and Craft that we sold out of before the show, um, we do have a few coming in. That's the one. But we only have a limited amount and they're coming in this week. So we've put it on pre-order on the website and it's a kit. And you will have the outer fabric, it's the border fabric and the lining. Two ways of, of kind of wearing it. I like it like that personally. Um, it's lined with or interfaced with a G700, so that's included, and the bamboo handles. The issue we had after we sold out is that these come from the Far East and it takes weeks for them to arrive. That's the handles. Um, but we have got more. But Crate and Craft have bagged a whole load of them for, um, for that show in April. So we have kept some back and put them on the website on a pre-order. We'll try and get them out by the end of the week. I'm just waiting for the instructions to be printed. So... Hopefully we'll be with you by the end of the week. Um, oh, and oh no, Andrea, his face feels like he's been hit by a truck. Oh, sign the set. Oh no. Oh, pop a pill. Oh, I hope you get better soon. Um, yeah, but I say limited amount. Um, when they're sold out, it won't be until after April if we can get any more stock. Because I think Kim's practically bought all of the handles from the manufacturer. They they were out of stock last time she looked. Uh, Crick and Love deliveries are slow from last Sunday show. Are they? We have to, listen, we send them out because we, we, we send everything out from here. Um, Crate and Craft pay for it and every come and pick it up. We have to send everything out within two days or you get fined. So hours were gone by Tuesday apart from anything that was on extended dispatch. So if you've got, um, if, if you ordered like the Wonderland panel and some of the spring panels were on extended dispatch from the 16th. So if you ordered anything apart from that, the whole order gets put back to the 16th. So if it was a pre-order, they have actually gone. All of our pre-orders for the 16th went out. Well, they've been picked up on Monday. Um, so those are all packed up and ready to go. So we're ahead of the 16th. But yeah, normally two days. So I, I can't... Um, like Dame Barbara Club, they are, aren't they? Um, no, I can't explain that. We've we've done our bit at this end. So um, get onto Crate and Craft, chase them up a bit, and get them to to um, ch chase every. Erica's got hers this week from the show. Oh, good. 
Um, I'm glad those are going out. We do have, not the kits, but we do have the panels now on the website ready to go. These have been on pre-order um, for a week or so, but we do have them now ready to go. So you've got two colour options. You can either go for the lilac or the blue. This one is obvs the lilac. And lots of things you can do with them. So I made a box bag and um, what else did I make? An apron. And this is what some of the girls have been making. So Jeannie's made um, the bag there and Janice has made the uh, table runner and a little cushion. So there's lo lots of ideas as to what you can do with it. But this is just for the panel on its own. So no instructions with this one. But these actually came in this morning. So they've been taken off pre-order and these will go be going straight out. So those of you that have pre-ordered, all packed up, ready to go. And those will be going out on Monday. Um, I think it says someone had been hit by a truck. <laughs> oh, Viv. <laughs> Andrea says she feels like she's been hit by a truck after sinus surgery. Um, there's a delay with every due to the weather. Oh, I've had that from DPD as well, Linda, particularly in the nether regions, the northern regions of Scotland. There's been a bit of a problem there. So. Uh, Amanda's got hers from Craven Craft. Lovely. Yes, back there again tomorrow with um, Seamless Sunday. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to use and abuse you to be honest this morning because um, I'm doing a little section for the Craft Cotton Company with some of their coronation fabrics and I haven't time to prep anything so I'm going to use some of the fabrics to make a bag just so I've got something to show on the show. Kim's already made some bunting for me um, so I'll do that so the fabrics I'm going to use to demo it's ever so easy just an easy tote bag um, we don't sell but they will be on the show tomorrow morning Lisa DPD be like, yeah, I heard that, Megan, delayed because of the snow. Um, so maybe that's why they, the orders are late. But we did our bit. They got picked up OK from here, even though one of the vans the other day, um, we live at, down a hill, and he skidded literally all the way down and stopped outside the door. We loaded him up and off he skidded again. It was really thick snow. Um, Lorna, my daughter made those. Those are on her blog, the heart cushions. I'm glad you like them. So anyway, seamless Sunday tomorrow. I actually printed out a list of what we're doing. So this is on oh, Create and Craft. So if you're not aware, Create and Craft is a shopping channel based in the UK. So if you're not in the UK, you can watch it online. Um, Createandcraft.com. And, um, oh, nice, Chris. Going to see the King and I in London. Oh, very nice. Um, so we start at 7 o'clock in the morning and we go all the way through till 1 o'clock. So we're live all the way through. So instead of having the one-hour shows that they normally do, we mash them all up together and have one big, long six-hour show. And I'm there for the duration, so I'm presenting the whole show for you. Um, and instead of, again, the one hours, you might get half an hour of one, three quarters of an hour of another, then nip back to somebody. It, it bounces backwards and forwards quite a lot. So we're going to have, oh, the biggest prize draw, actually. Um, all you need to do is place an order and there's over seven seven hundred pounds worth of products that somebody's going to win by the end of the morning. So Craft Cotton Company is going to be on at 7.15 for half an hour, just over. Um, there's a brand new Juki one day special. Um, and it's under a thousand pounds apparently, it's the most affordable one. That's going to be at um, 10 o'clock. We have sewing online so that's furniture so michelle's coming in for that one um karen from seams is coming in again we've got a brand new book launch from portia laurie um, i was having a chat to her the other day so this is really exciting it's a um, um, kind of a refashion um, book which i'm waiting for for my copy to arrive today so i can talk a little bit more about it but book launches are always so exciting for, for everybody concerned i mean it's it's a really really big deal so i know she's a little bit nervous but um I'm, I'm sure she's going to be fine. That's going to be at 12 o'clock. And who else have we got? I think that's it. Oh, Alistair's coming in. What, what time's Alistair on? Um, they haven't put Alistair on my list. Oh, they'll have to update that. We've definitely got an ad. Oh, yes, they have. They've put HOA. That threw me a bit. House of Alistair. So that's at 8 o'clock and then again at 11 o'clock. So he always has some amazing priced um, fabrics for you as well. Um, oh, Monday's really excited. Lovely. Why do you start so early? Cannot get up early these days. Oh, 7 o'clock's not early for me, Sylvia. <laughs> they go live at 7 o'clock. I don't know why. It's, it's fine with me. Um, 
by Karen from Seams and I need some more hand cream. Lovely. A straight stitch. No, the straight, straight stitch machine was on last week and it sold out. It was on last Saturday, apparently. Hi, Tracy. Right, so panels we do have on the website right now. And I've also managed to source the felt that I used for the, you know, the heart project, the embroidered ribbon heart that's uh, going to be um, next week's Half Yard Sewing Club member project. So two pieces of heathered felt and this is a wool viscose mix so it's natural and it's easy to sew through. A lot of the time with felts that are synthetic, trying to get an embroidery needle through them is a real problem. That's bright, isn't it? Never mind. Um, so there's two pieces of felt in the pack, plenty big enough to make the heart if that's what you wanted to use it for. But it's also nice to use for um, animals as well if you're doing applique and things like that. And we've also sourced a packet of ribbons which is six one meter projects, uh, projects, uh, six one meter pieces. And I think I used the dark red and the pink, but we thought, you know, you might want to make some leaves or um, some different colored flowers. So the six one meter pieces in the pack there. Um, when that's gone, we're not going to be able to get any more of those back in again. So that's quite a good deal. With the embroidered uh, heart, which I couldn't find this morning, actually, um, I use polyester ribbon. This is a polyester satin ribbon, not silk, because I found that when I was looking for silk ribbon, it was very expensive and we couldn't source it and get you a good deal on the website, uh, which is why the embroidery is sitting on top, not with the ribbon actually pulled through or going through itself, because you find that really difficult um, to pull it through. So that's, that's that. <laughs> that's Christmas mouse, Lisa. Um, well, the red felt on the website, yes, it will It will do, Laura. I think because it's, um, that is a synthetic, but it's a really soft one. Um, but there's only, there's only the one piece where the ribbon's pulled through the felt. So you might have to wiggle it a little bit to pull it through. The rest of them are all embroidered on the top with this one. The fabric panel behind me today with the watering can and the bird bath. Yvonne, those are on the website. Uh, these are the ones that I just showed you. So that's the panel. So if you look, I think it's under new arrivals. If it's not under new arrivals, then take a look at, um, just put panels in or spring garden. If you put spring garden into the search bar, then that normally comes up. It's so bright and sunny, isn't it? It's lovely in here today. Chickens are loving it. Uh, Laverne's recovering from pneumonia. Oh dear. Today's the day she's going to, today's the day she's going to get back into sewing. Oh good, I hope it makes you feel a little bit better. Cheers you up a little bit as well. Right. We do have some more stuff, more stuff to show you. I've got more ribbons actually. Um, these are really sweet and we've got lots of options. So I shan't take them out, but there's three meters in total and you will have choices of, that's the handmade large type. So the typewriting is large. Some of those have got a heart on them as well. They, they may be slightly different to exactly what you're looking at here. And that is the small type. And the small type's got little icons on it as well. Again, there are a few variations in that, so it may vary a bit. And this one is alphabet. That one is numbers. Then centimeters. And then inches. And again, you're going to get tell you what I'm going to do. Can you have a look that have a look at that a minute? Just have a look at those a minute because I'm just going to adjust the light on that overhead camera. Do bear with me a moment while I do this. Have a look at those lovely ribbons. <laughs> now that's multitasking if ever I've multitasked. Right down that, down that, across that, up there, down that, down that, one, two, back up, back up, across that way. Oh another lovely ribbon. Off there, off there, do that. Oh, 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 that. And then we can do that. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, now you can see it properly. Um, so those are the choices. Can't remember how much they are, but again, have a look under uh, uh, the new arrivals and they'll all be in there. Three metres in total, but again, with the uh, the handmade ones, they may vary a little bit, but they're really, they're really sweet. I'm thinking of um, even gift wrap for people I know who sews would be nice because then you can reuse it, can't you? 
Um, no, Deirdre, we've only got that fabric available for the bamboo handles at the moment. Um, but they've all been kitted up, so that's, that's it with that one, I'm afraid. Um, 3.25 each. Oh, thank you, Megan. £3.25 each. Three metres. That's it. That's a good deal, isn't it? <laughs> right. I like to bring you a good deal. Only teasing. These are brand new bumbleberries. So these are the Lewis and Irene blenders. So we're building up quite a stash of different colour options of these because with Lewis and Irene, they, they, whenever they bring out a new range, they bring out a new bumbleberry to go with it. And the colours that they choose in the fabric ranges um, tend to be the same kind of colours across the board, no matter what the print is. But some of these are really rather special. So these, we've got a few on the website already, but these are the brand new ones that only went on this morning. Uh, so I can't remember what colours they're called. Um, probably say on it, won't it? No, nah, just bumbleberries. Have a look on the website, you'll see them there. Um, so, these have got a little bit of a sparkle. And I think that's so elegant. Oh, it's, it's almost bridal, isn't it? Can you see that? Just catches the light beautifully. And this one, look, you might see a little bit better on there. And that one's kind of the matte finish again. But um, I'll try and pair some of these up with some of the Lewis and Irene fabrics that we've got in stock at some point and, and show you. But these are kind of um, a range that we just want to keep in stock all the time for you so that whenever, you know, you don't just have to use them with, with Lewis and Irene fabrics. They mix and match with so many other things and they're standalone on their own. Um, but if you do want them to match with the fabrics, then, um, then we're going to be building up the stock that we have of those as well. Um, aches and pains. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling better, Laura. Hanging out the washing. It'll be stiff when you go out and fetch it in, Linda. It's freezing out there. The lovely cube box on the shelf behind to my right. Mm -hmm. Another big fat tease with that one. That is next month, so, so that'll be out on April the 1st, and that's Half Yard Sewing Club's main project. It'll be a set of three boxes with lids. I might put a button on the top, not quite finished yet. Um, just thought I'd just thought a tease. So yeah, Half Yard Club members, um, that's going to be your next project. So we've got the ribbon embroidered heart next week and then set of three storage boxes um, in um, April. That's it. That's all I've got to show you. Um, morning, Dulce. Right, should we do a bit of sewing? Should we do that? Okay. So again, this fabric isn't on our website. Can't get it. But it will be, there's loads of them. There's a collection of 10. They're all really nice. Um, this is what I'm going to be doing on Seamless Sunday tomorrow morning at quarter past nine. So again, if you, if you weren't watching right from the beginning, I'm just doing a bit of prep for my show tomorrow because I haven't had time. Um, I'll tell you what I've been busy doing. Kim's made some really lovely panels for this one day special that we're doing on April the 14th and 15th. So making up samples and step-by-step -step instructions and, and all of that. The Half Yard Sewing Club, Mandy, is my online um, sewing club. If you look at the post above you, Sarah's put a link to it there. So pop over and have a look. Two projects a month, £5.99. Lots and lots of hints and tips. Block of the month. Nice little community with a forum. It's, you can have a look around it. And if you do want to join up, when you go to checkout, then use the word WELCOME in capital letters in the coupon box and you'll get a month for free. So then you can have a look at the projects and see if you think that it's, uh, it's going to be good for you. Um, the projects are anything from dressmaking, bag making, quilting, homewares, cushions, curtains, uh, toys. There's, there's so many different things on there. So we kind of cater for every genre of sewing that we can jolly well think of. Um, right, so I haven't measured. I've just roughly cut this out this month. I wanted, I wanted to make a big bag because I'll have a big set and I want, to, I want it to look like I've been really busy making stuff for it. So that's why I'm doing a big bag so it stands out. Um, so, the best club ever. Oh, thank you, Jill. Right. So, I've got two pieces of the red crown fabric which measure 14 inches by 11 
and the top fabric the Union Jacks is 7 inches by 14 inches and then I'm going to make handles out of the red crown and these are 4 inches by 20 inches and I've put some H640 on the wrong side of these already and I'm going to use just white fabric for the lining but I'll cut that out later on. Oh and bosal. I'm going to make it a firm bag because again just purely selfishly thinking about what I'm going to do on this show tomorrow. A firm bag is going to stand up. I don't have to take a bag holder with me. Um, yes, Lee, I think we do, Lisa. I think we do. Um, on your everyday handbag, could you please explain what interfacing and fleeces you used and where? Mm, I, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, Irene. I'll have to have a look on the instructions. Um, Leanna, I'm making a tote bag. There's so much on this website. I love it. Oh, Janet, jolly good. Right, so first thing to do is to sew the top of this to the top of that right sides together. And like so. And I'm just using the edge of my foot as a seam allowance, so just over a quarter of an inch will be absolutely fine. You might quilt one side of it. I think it's nice when you quilt through bosal. We'll see how we go. I'm just going to plug the iron in. So hold the line a moment. Is that a butterfly cushion on the shelf behind me? I can't see a butterfly. I've got hearts. I've got spring gardens. But I don't, I don't have a butterfly. Oh, I'll tell you what I do have. An egg basket which is oh in you go this is going to be um, the sew along for the end of the month so we're going to make an Easter basket to collect eggs in and actually got eggs in it as well yeah. oh Tracy says so many new lovely projects since I last logged on to the half yard sewing club oh do do keep up we got, well two a month and then you, you're um, um, your block of the month as well. There's loads. Sylvia says, I own a welcome, the best club ever. Glad you renew. Oh, thank you. Thank you for renewing. Got lots of plans as well. So I think um, end of March we're having the next planning meeting. So the way that it works, um, a lot of you have been um, messaging what kind of projects you'd like in the club as well. So we can't cater for everybody, but if there's something that jumps out, we think actually that's uh, that would appeal to a lot of people. Um, we'll take a look at it, but we'll all go down to, to Search Press and maybe have a maybe have a lunch, if we're lucky, and and just talk about what projects that we're planning for the next six months. We we're thinking about having a rebrand and making the whole thing look a lot nicer. Uh, we're taking on board questions about putting. Um, or allowing you to post more of your pictures on there. So hopefully they're looking at that as well. And, uh, you know, technical things like that. We'll have a, a good old chat about that at the end of the month and plan out the rest of the year. Uh, Andrew's going to make the crumb quilt cushion cover today. Nice. Love the crumb quilting. Right. So this is now... I'm going to just give it a... No, I won't. This is going to go on a piece of bosal. Um which is why I brought the big iron down with me because I can give it lots of steam and Bosal does like a lot of steam. So this is the single sided fusible Bosal. And I love this because it gives it a real firmness, but um, you can still sew through it quite easily. So are we, are we steaming? We should be, I've just put water in it. And I th I'll just quilt one side of it because we'll be here all day. Kathy made a side, pur a side purse yesterday. Nice. Right, so let's do that. And then, oh, now the steam's coming out. Honestly, do it when you feel like it, won't you? So, lots of steam, and then you can kind of reposition this while it's still warm, but let it cool down before you do anything else with it. So it only takes a few seconds. And try not to get the glue on your iron. Okay, that's one. I'll cut that down in just a second. Let's do two. 
made a box cushion yesterday. Oh, good fish, as it was lovely, then spoiled it by trying free motion embroidery. Oh, we sat outside the van sewing, and the neighbours didn't off stare when I said, are we naughty? Oh, did you? <laughs> well, I don't blame you. When, when things go wrong, you're allowed to. Just not too loudly in front of the neighbours, you'll be talked about. Um, recently changed my monthly membership to my new one. Oh, thank you, Jan. Keep up the good work. I will do. Got lots of plans, as we said. So, yes, rather rather busy year this year with the Half Yard Club. Oh, is anybody going to come and see us, by the way, in London? It's, uh, it's coming up soon, isn't it? A couple of weeks at Islington. Can't remember the dates. 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, something like that. It'll be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, I'll be there for all four days. I'm hoping Kim will, but not not too sure because of course she's mom so you can't always give up your weekends can you um, London's too far to go lovely oh, it would be really nice to see you there right Linda's gonna be there my Daisy's gonna be there okay it's a nice show actually Oh, something else I was going to show you. We've got new scissors on the website. I was really impressed with these. You know what I'm like about sharp to the point. Let me find a scrap of fabric and show you how sharp to the point it is. Oh, tell me I've got no scraps of fabric. Anyway, what I like about them is the lightweight. Um, I'll show you in the white. So, because I've had heavy scissors before now and it hurts my hands. But this is sharp to the point, meaning if you just want to make tiny snips, they actually meet at the point. If you're just cutting off tiny threads, they meet at the point. I love that about a pair of scissors. I love the crunch. But again, they're not, they're not heavy. So they're big, they're 10 inches long, so they're a good size for dressmaking shears. Um, but they are refined stainless steel they're made out of and they're just they're just really nice scissors they're nice and firm and crunchy yes anyway let's do this so just trimming this down so that it's the same size and we'll do that on both pieces and then we'll do a bit of quilting um, just just in straight lines, I think. Can't convince Peter would love a sewing exhibition. <laughs> Thinks only want him for his credit card. Well, just just take his credit card out instead for the day, Sarah. Be, should be quite happy with that. Okay, um, the show that you're on tomorrow. Yes, it will, Andrea. It will have the coronation bunting panel. Um, I tell you what, the... Have a, I don't know when they put things live, but have a look tonight. Because um, they, may, they may well put things live on the website early. And I think the coronation panel will sell out. Otherwise, if you can get up at seven o'clock in the morning, although that part of the show won't be on till, did I say quarter past nine? Can't remember. Um, I think it's quarter past nine. Um, everything will be active on the website at seven o'clock when the show goes live because it's classed as one show. So everything throughout the whole of the six hours will be activated by seven o'clock in the morning. Um, they're really nice actually. They're, they're, they're quite... Um, I was saying to Kim earlier, they reminded me of Lewis Nyring kind of prints. So they're quite elegant and different colours as well, but there are some with the, the carriages and things on as well. In fact, they should have pictures on their website now, shouldn't they? They normally put them on early. Right, I'm just going to iron that again because that's lifted up a bit. Uh, the chickens, is that, oh sorry, you've disappeared. Geraldine are lovely. They're getting more and more confident. They were eaten out of my hand this morning. And uh, they, they give a little cluck when we walk down the garden. No, the very small bits I don't. Something like these, Sharon, she's asking if I, if I do anything with those. I'll save them to make handles out of. 
Um, you can join it together, but the very small pieces, I don't, I don't normally bother. Join it together by butting the two ends up and putting a zigzag stitch across it. I can use good. So I haven't got a lot of space where I'm not going to melt something. That should do. Right. So on the one side, I'm not going to quilt this side, but I am going to top stitch along each side of the seam because I think it looks nice. Um, so I'm going to make the stitch longer. I'm going up to a three. And just stitching about a quarter of an inch from the edge of that seam. I'll do that on both sides. And I'm using a red thread so it'll really stand out. And that, that side, there we go. So that's all I'm going to do on that side. But I like with the bow saw, because it's, it's thick, it's about a quarter of an inch thick, the stitches just sink into it and I just think it looks really nice, it looks expensive. Um, it's Seamless Sunday tomorrow, Andrea, on Create and Craft from 7 o'clock in the morning through to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm there for the whole six hours. I've got Martin and um, Adam as well, so they'll be popping in and have a little bit of fun. Uh, just make sure that's an erasable pen, not a biro. And then I'm going to, I'm going to do 60 degree markings on here. So if you line up your 60 degree line on the ruler with the edge of the fabric, just to get this going, let's go here. And then just make sure I can see that. Oh yeah, that's a bit thicker. Always test just in case um, this stains. Should we do two inches? Should we do two and a half? Let's do two and a half. So I'm just going to measure two and a half inches away from that one and cover the whole thing in diagonal lines. And then do the same in opposite directions when I finish doing this lot. Where are you? There you go. I normally stand over the top and look at this, but then you're just going to see the top of my head, which isn't the most interesting. Oh, thank you, Annabelle. Debbie's got a coffee. Yeah, I, I like this fabric. I just wish we could get it on the website, but um, I'm afraid we can't. I'm going to have to get to Create and Craft tomorrow. And there, right, there we go. Lisa's had a good night's sleep. A baby sleeping 13 hours. What did you give it? <laughs> just one more to do this way and then I'm going to do 60 degree can you see what I've done there you can on the plane uh, 60 degree lines in the opposite direction so again 60 degree line here but I've got the ruler facing in this direction and we'll do the same again so two and a half inches away from that one and cover the whole thing gin I can remember when Kimberly was little, my mother-in-law just put a spot of whiskey on a dummy. What? What? Not surprised it sent her to sleep. Was that the done thing in those days? Uh, what's, what's Martin and Adam? Oh yes, Martin and Adam. I know. <laughs> it was funny last time we sat around. Uh, when, we, we do a bit of a quiz. We might do a bit more of a Q&A this time with the guests. And uh, we had so many guests that there was no room for Adam to sit down at the table. So we sat on a counter behind us and somebody said he looked like the elf on a shelf. He looked like an elf on shelf. Right. One more in the corner there. <laughs> Just you wait, Lisa. This isn't going to end for years. Uh, you must have to get up earlier. Two weeks. Is it two weeks the clocks go forward? Two weeks. Wow, that's come around quickly, hasn't it? Um, so if I'm there at seven, I'll probably get there about half past five, and it's about an hour's journey for me, so I'll leave at half past four. So I shall probably be up about three o'clock tomorrow. But that's fine, that's fine. Um, back question. Oh, hi, Jules. 
like watching again right we're just going to sew over all of these lines so if you want to go and um, put the kettle on I've just pressed something I shouldn't um, made a quilt using the tails and threads fabric you can you can put them on here Lorraine where you are now just pop a pop a picture on there I'm sure you can right oh, here we go so again I'm using the longer thread. This is where that straight stitch machine comes into its own. So quick. So yeah, using a longer stitch on this one because it's not a seam, it doesn't have to be strong. And you probably find that if you're sewing through layers of fabric or thicker fabrics like this now it's got the bosal on it, um, it can slow your machine down a little bit and it makes the stitches look shorter. So try lengthening the stitch when you're sewing anything like this, even if you're not quilting it, it may help. So there we go. Oh, this is going to be a nice bag. I was going to cut some squares out the corners as well. I forgot about that. I should do that in a moment. So who's doing what for the coronation? Anybody having street parties? Hope the weather's going to be nice. Um, my mum, I think I've told you before, was at the Queen's coronation in when was that when was the queen's coronation can't remember i think my mum would have been about 17 so 22 32 maybe 19, 1940 something um jeanette this fabric is going to be on create and craft tomorrow morning at quarter past nine it's the um the coronation fabric not on our website i'm afraid we couldn't get it I'm purely making the bag up because I haven't prepped the show yet. So I thought if I'm sitting here sewing with you, I can get some prep done. That's, that's my plan. 1950, was it 53? Oh, okay. So she'd been older than that. Then. My mum was born in 1922. She'd have been 101 now. Um, oh, lovely Em. Nice to cheer you up. Don't you hate that? Oh, coffee time, thank you. I've just run out of thread. Um, detox lemon drink. Oh, thank you. You remembered. I thought you brought me a coffee. Anybody else for a detox drink? <laughs> <laughs> With lemons in it. Thank you. <laughs> Don't all queue up at once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a detox. So I said to him, no, no coffee. Oh, oh no, so you stop there. Uh, not drinking coffee. It's a five-day five detox. And I'm getting quite used to this, actually. This tastes really nice. So I've got lemons in hot water. Really nice. And it's quite nice when it goes cold as well. So there you go. Anyway, let's load this up. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, mm, I'm going to run out of that one as well. So, yes, she was there right at the front. I think she was one of these people that queued up for days. Well, a day um, before the coronation and uh, put her best clothes on and everything. And I wish there would have been more photos taken in those days. Uh, taking photos was really expensive, so we don't have any pictures of her. But she got all dressed up in a suit and went and queued up to see the Queen. Gin. <laughs> a big bottle of gin for the babies. Um... Please don't give your babies, Jim. Only joking, just in case. Oh, Celia's just been brought a lemon tea. So I don't like tea. Uh, some of the Queen's coronation papers. I've still got some, June, as well. And I'll tell you what I really like about them. My mum was a huge fan of the royal family. Um, and so she collected newspapers of... Um, Anne and Charles when they were little and, you know, anything. Anything that hit the front cover of the newspapers. And she saved the whole newspapers. I've got a suitcase full of them. Um, but what I find more interesting is the adverts. You know, the, the really un-PC ones about little housewives in pennies and things like that. The, the kind of thing that you wouldn't dream of putting in a newspaper now. Um, yeah, those are really interesting. See why I'm not doing both sides of this now, can't you? Here all day. Two chocolate biscuits, one for each belly. <laughs> um, 1953 year your mum was born. Okay. 
Yeah, mum is born in 22, dad was born in 26, so they would have been quite old fellows now. Mum was four years older. That was kind of unheard of in those days as well. Um, costly stuffing is. That's a good idea, Helen. Cheap pillows. Food stuffing. Have you had a look on Amazon? Because that's where I normally buy mine from. We don't stock it on the website because um, that would work out very expensive. The postage more than anything. Uh, but Amazon tend to do some really good deals of huge sacks full of, um, of toy filler. I think I've just got more line to go. Never tell from the front, but if you turn it over to the back, you can see where you would be. And I think that's covered. So I'm just going to iron that to take away the pen marks. <laughs> this is a teenager. I learned my mum was a month older than my dad and she was mortified. Yeah, four years difference was mine. She was 39 when she got married, and uh, the family thought that she was going to be left on the shelf. That's far too old. Got married as teenagers in those days, didn't you? Uh, grandson 14 on Thursday and granddaughter 14 on Monday, four days apart. It was my lad's birthdays last week, Well, one was yesterday and one was Wednesday, so they're two days apart. 14 years and two days apart, but birthday is very close together. I do get them the wrong way round occasionally. Right, let's cut the corners out the bottom of this. So because it's a big bag, I'm going to need a big base. So I'm going to cut a two inch square from the bottom of each one. Two inch, three inch, two and a half. Let's, let's go two and a half, we'll happy medium. It's to be quite a tall thin bag, this one. Two and a half. Ten months older than my dad, the way you went on, you thought it was ten years. Yeah, it's not um I've done that at the wrong bit, haven't I? You didn't tell me. This is the bottom bit. Very nearly had an upside down bag. Doesn't really matter to be honest. Uh, that's what happens when I'm reading your comments as we're talking. Ooh, okay Lisa, good luck. Is that a burn on your arm? Well, I, I fell over. I actually fell over. We've got, uh, we have um, a st stone floors in a lot, a lot of the, the rooms in the house. And there's an awful lot of steps in our house. So steps out of the living room, steps down into the kitchen, steps up to the, down, there's just steps everywhere. And um, I fell over one of the steps coming out of the living room the other day and landed on the stone step. I was in a little bit of a heap on the floor and I had to call Gary to come and get me up. And I'm very bruised. <laughs> but yeah, it could have been worse, could have broke something. So let's cut out these corners down here. Should have put some makeup on it really. I never, never thought about it. It's not a very pleasant sight, is it? Drunk. I wish. Detoxing. Um, and then this one's... I think I missed a quilt line there, but I'm not, I'm not too fussed. Right, and then I'll need to cut out, see those scissors are lovely, um, lining pieces to the same size. So again, I'm just using white for the lining on this one. Maybe not such a good idea for a lining on a bag, but you know. Uh, oh, look at that, it's almost as if it was planned. So they will have the red, white and blue fabrics, well, red, white and pale blue actually, um, on the show tomorrow. But we do have those on the website if you wanted them quicker. Oh, it's not very straight. I like to use my rotary cutter when I'm doing this kind of stuff. But I thought this might be quicker. That's better. Hello, sir, everyone kissing me. It's foggy, really. 
we are glorious and sunny and freezing here. Happy birthday, Viv. Gin and tonic. Be a hot gin and tonic, Laura. It's steaming. I do like a gin and tonic, but not this time in the morning. Right, so that's that. That's all I need of that. I'm not going to put any pockets or anything on the inside of this one. Let's do this. So we cut out the corners. And this one. And there we go. So I don't know what I'm making the show tomorrow. Any suggestions? If you're going to be making something from Coronation Fabric, what would you make? So I was thinking, I don't know, are people going to go and queue up outside the palace like my mum did? I don't know if, if they do that these days, I suppose so. So maybe you would want a, um, a water bottle carrier. But then I've only got half an hour to make something, so I might not be able to do that. But I thought a bag might be useful. Or if it is a street party you're having, you know, to carry a, your hanky in. Big hanky, big hanky in this one. Let's just have a look at how that's, that's going to... Oh, that's going to be fine. It's going to be a tall, thin bag. Right, so two linings, two outers. Then I've got my two handles. So on the outer bag, I've used... Uh, I'm just going to move that before I knock it over. Um, I've used the Bosal interfacing. On the handles, I've used H640. Um, H630 because I thought the bow is going to be too stiff to bend but I do want them to be quite I want them to stand up basically not flop down so I've interfaced the wrong side of these then I'm just going to take some clips placemats for a senior oh placemats is a nice idea a bucket hat yes I need a pattern for that though I'm planning two coronation themed teddy bears from coronation fabric that's a nice idea a tea cosy um, bag for tissue and cell phone and a pen. That's a good idea. Cushion, lunch bag. Oh, you're so much better than Google. Tea cozy, mug holder sleeve, another cushion, picnic bag with lots of pockets. Hmm. Thank you. So long sides to the middle, fold in half. And clipping's going to be easier than, than pressing. And then I'll just sew down both sides. Hi, Zakaya. A brolly bag, that would be a good idea. I wonder what the weather's going to be like. I wonder what he's doing now, like right, right now, right this second. I wonder if he's getting all excited about it. Well, at least he won't be thinking, oh, what shall I wear? <laughs> what hat shall I wear to my cut? Oh, yes, the crown. I wonder what Camilla's going to wear. Probably something purple with the sash, I'm thinking. Could you, could you imagine? I, I mean, if, if, if thinking about cutting costs in, in, in this day and age, that if you decided not to wear the crown for the coronation, but to wear a beanie hat made out of coronation fabric, what do you think? And I could run Camilla up a frock. I think she'd look lovely in Union Jacks. It's very patriotic. A theme table set be nice. Well, thank you, Zakaya. Uh, children's birthdays, so, 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 27 days between them, but they're the same age. Oh, wow. Um. <laughs> Christine hopes it's not the day for a hip replacement. A bowl cozy, that's, that's a nice idea. Right. So again, just the same as before, long sides to the center, fold in half. And clip. Oh, I, I think it'd look great, Linda and uh, Linda and Jelly, a uh, Jelly, <laughs> Jenny, and and I was going to say Leslie. Um, yeah, with sunglasses, beanie hat and sunglasses, with a badge saying "I am King." This is why I didn't get the invite this year. Thought I'd make a mockery. A hat could be made in oil cloth if you had an easy pattern. That's a nice idea. Or you could use eau de coat on any other fabric, make it waterproof too. Um, the devoted video for the bag later today. Not for this one, Carol. I, I'm literally. I've got. 
I've just got so much on at the moment. I'm doing some work with um, Crate and Craft for some free projects that they're going to be putting on their website, which I need to do like now. Um, and then Prep for Seamless Sunday tomorrow. And I'm still writing instructions for the projects for the one day special in um, April. Coronation chicken. Oh no, Michelle, we can't have coronation chicken. Shoot your ears, girls. So I'm just going to say down both sides. Still with a long stitch on my sewing machine. A messenger bag with a pocket for a water bottle. That would be a good idea. I need to think of something that I can sew in half an hour, though, for tomorrow. But I'll go back through. Just something like a placemat would be OK. That would probably take me half an hour. Um, I shall have a thing. But thank you for all of your suggestions. You're very helpful sometimes. Um, <laughs> I did say to go, it was a while ago now, but I woke up in the morning and I just said, I don't know what to sew. And he just said, oh, that's not good, is it? But yeah, sometimes you do have a block. Um, right, so. I can talk, talk amongst yourselves while I'm just doing this. Not the most interesting thing to see. I'm just doing this um, and again nice long stitch and just saying about a quarter of an inch from each side and the H630 is now kind of quadrupled in thickness so it gives a nice sturdy handle I think if you're not going to use any interfacing it may be a little bit too floppy Lindsay washing on a Saturday morning really Naughty corner for you. Alright, so I can just line up those edges. And of course you can make this any length you like, and on something like this, depending on what you're going to use it for, you would need to keep it a lot thinner, but you could use a slider on there as well and make it adjustable. Or a huge crossbody bag. And of course you can add flaps and things like that if you wanted to as well. This one's not going to have a fastening, but it is a very quick project. Tissue box cover is a nice idea. A phone holder to go around your neck. That's a good idea. Myra, so keeping your phone handy for a quick photo. Because you know what he's like. He's going to want to do selfies, isn't he? Come on, Camilla, smile. Come on, smile, smile again. And there's your official coronation photos. I can, well, it's, uh, seriously, it's a saving on cost, isn't it? So I, I don't think it's a bad idea for him to do his own selfies. Uh, hi, Tina. Pat, those, those are on my daughter's um, blog, What Kimberly Sews. And I'm glad you like them. She has a lot of, lot of positives about those. OK, let's get these handles on. So these are going to go on the top of the bag. <clears throat> I'm just going to very quickly run the iron over those marks that I made earlier on because they shouldn't really be there at all. Right. Facing inwards, equidistant. So that's about four inches from each side. Let's pop a clip in here. And about four inches from that side. A bow tie, that'd be, oh, a bow tie in, um, in this fabric would be great, wouldn't it? That's not quite right there. And then with the first half of the bag that we made an age ago, a fabric, cr yes. Oh, actually, no, no, maybe a beanie hat wouldn't be appropriate for a king, but a fabric crown would be nice, wouldn't it? I could have like a KC on the front. I think I think that would go down well. If I had time to make him one, I'm sure I'd appreciate it. A floppy hat. Tote bag with a drawstring top, that's a nice idea. Buy a Bible and make a commemorative cover dated. That's a nice idea as well, Brenda. Right, let's just sew this within the seam allowance. So I'm just sewing that to the top of the bag just to, oh, wrong one, hold it in place like so. 
and across to this one. Ooh, hold on. All these buttons to press. And here. A flag would be a nice idea. We'll make a huge flag with the amount of fabric we've got on the show tomorrow. Casey, King Charles and the Sunshine Band. Absolutely, Elizabeth. That's obviously what KC stood for. Showing your age now. Ooh. So two pieces that are looking like that. I'm then going to sew the top of the lining to the top of the bag. Do you know it's a dog called Casey? A Zimmer frame caddy for old our folks. That's a nice idea, Claire. So literally top of the lining to the top of the bag. I should have cut the lining a little bit bigger. I shall explain why. Thinking about it. Because when you come to have the seam at the top of the bag, the bosal's not going to want to fold over. That will make more sense in a minute. That's what happens when you make things up as you go along. Sylvia, purely for time, because it took a while to quilt. I thought you've seen enough of me quilting, so I've just quilted one side. But it kind of gives you two different looks, because on this side I've just top stitched across there, so you can do both sides like that. And on this side I thought, well, I'll quilt it. So normally I would quilt the whole lot, but I um, thought you might be bored. So the second lining piece. I've done it again. How can, how can you lose a big piece of white fabric? Haven't been anywhere. Haven't gone anywhere. Have I sewn two pieces together? No, I haven't done that. I'll cut another one then. Bear with me while I just cut another piece of fabric. How bizarre. Right. I've cut two together, but I've, I've, I've lost one. Uh, oh, thank you, Chris. Lost my scissors as well. A scarf, a bunch of tulips in red fabric. That would be lovely. If, have you done that? You're very good at, draw, at drawing. At, um, flowers, particularly tulips, which are around here somewhere. They were lovely. Um, did I only cut? I thought I folded it in half. Well. <laughs> it's going to, t oh, Tupperware lid heaven. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what is that? We've got so many Tupperware, we're the same. Oh no, we've, we've, got, we've probably got as many Tupperware lids as we have um, bases, but they're all different sizes. You know how that happens? Yeah. Um, no, no pointing. No pointing getting grumpy, Daisy. Just in a yoga class. Oh, Sarah's just in a yoga class and he's feeling very old now. <laughs> I don't think I could manage that. Um, thank you, Sylvia. Right. So then we'll sew this one, right sides together, to the top of this one. Oh, thanks, Lindsay. Yes, Laura, you're right. This is, I wish you could buy the fabric from us, but we don't have it. Um, can't get hold of it. We're not, we keep trying, but the, the coronation fabric sells out so quickly. But create and craft tomorrow morning. Um, I'm not sure what channels they're on. I know on on Freeview it's 85, isn't it? I should know this. But they're on Sky and they're on Virgin as well. And if you're not in the UK, you can watch them online. If you go to createandcraft.com. Um, there's a banner at the top and it says watch watch live, I think. So I'll be there from 7 o'clock in the morning all the way through to 1 o'clock. Big, long six-hour show. I know, Kirsten. I know. I'll be there somewhere. So I've got that. And then these two pieces we're going to sew right sides together. I did miss a bit on that. I'm going to do that. thought I had. Don't need to do that bit. We'll do that bit. 
tell you, when, when you turned it over, when you've got a pattern fabric like that. Uh, three inches, Pam. Thank you. Um, Virgin 748. But yeah, come, come, and, come and have a look. If you're not doing anything tomorrow, you don't have to stay for the whole six hours, but do pop in. I'm just going to line up the seams at the side here because I want those to match. And I'll clip that. Um, but if you do pop in, I'm going to match that as well. Why don't you send us an email? We, we have got a little bit of a quiz going on. And oh, actually, I do need to post the email address because if you email the gallery, that's fine. The um, producer will pick up your emails. But there is a dedicated email address, which is seamlesssunday at createandcraft.com. And I pick up those emails. I'll have them on um, on a laptop. Um, on a laptop, on a tablet. But you can, for that email address, you can email now if you like, any time leading up to the show. So if you've got any questions for our guests or for me, or you've got any comments, or you've got a sewing related joke or funny story or anything like that, then um, then drop us an email. It'd be lovely to hear from you. It's um, so it's quite quite a relaxed, fun show for those six hours. So. If you want to come and be part of it, then do join us. I shall post on Facebook the email address this afternoon and timings and everything as well. So I'm sewing all the way around, apart from those corners that I cut out. All right, that. So I'm there for the whole time, Bloodwin. So I'm there from seven o'clock till one. Um, the fabric will be nine forty. No, that's a quiz. Oh no, is that? So I got that wrong. It's earlier. It's seven fifteen to seven fifty. So uh, the fabric will be on from quarter past seven to ten to eight. Sorry, I misread that earlier on. So yeah, so it's going to run quite early. Um, so if you do want to get hold of the fabric, I'd be there at seven because I've just got a feeling it's, it's going to sell out. Um, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have to cut the show short. Thanks, Anne. Yeah, the show actually starts at seven o'clock, but we'll what we got first of all. So seven o'clock to seven o five. Introduction. Um, 7.05 to 7.10, this is how they schedule it all out, it's so in-depth. Uh, introduce the guests, um, and then there's the prize draw, 7.10 till 7.15. And that prize draw is over £700 worth of products, so all sewing products. Um, 7.15 to 7.50, Craft Cotton Co. with Debbie Shaw. And then a quick tease of the Dukey One Day Special, and then House of Alistair. And then we've got uh, 8.50 to 9.05. We've got discounted Moda pre-cut, so we don't have a guest or demonstrations or anything for that. That's only, what, 15 minutes, but that's that's like sale prices on Moda. Uh, sewing online with Michelle is after that, and that is furniture. Then we do a bit of a quiz and an interview, um, and then a full hour with the GQ One Day special, then House of Alistair again, then Karen from Seams at half past 11, and then at 12 o'clock, 5 past 12, we've got the book launch with Portia. And then we announce the winner at one o'clock, and that's the end of the show. So that's my schedule for tomorrow. Six hours of live, unscripted TV. Love it. Uh, Laura, it was. Can't remember. I measured it right at the beginning. Um, 17 inches by 14, I think. 17 by 14 with two and a half inches cut out the corners. Oh, I do two different prices. Sometimes it's cheaper. If you, and how does that work, anyone? Um, Sylvie, you, you pay. I, I, don't, I don't actually work for Crate and Craft. I haven't done for a long time. But from what I remember, you pay. I think it's £20 for a year. And then you become a club member. And then anything that you order, you get 10% discount automatically. So that's why you see two prices on the screen. So one would be the price if you're not a club member, and one would be the price if you are a club member. You should do that. Yes, Rita, turning gap's going to be in the side. I should have mentioned that, shouldn't I? Because I never turn it through there. 
Um, oh, thank you, Elaine. You've got four machines. Um, I am kind of building up quite a collection of machines, but i um, never used them all. One at a time. Well, one for down here, which is this one, and then one for the house, um, which is the straight stitch machine. I use that mostly, to be honest. Um, hello, Dorothy. Just having a treat and enjoying making them with you. Oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying those, Dorothy, and thank you. That's the wrap, Blodder. Right, so drop down the final side. Turning up. Move it along. Quite a big turning up for this one because it's a bit chunky with the um, with the bosun. Okay. Then we're going to open up the corners and squish the sides to make the base square. And I'm going to push the seams in opposite directions and then we'll sew straight across there. We need to do that on all four corners. Right. Oh, Valerie's watching from Gatwick Airport on the way to Australia. How lovely. How long is the flight there? 